Oh, it's Leslie Lois Unfiltered. First, I just want to apologize that I did not come on yesterday to do this Bachelorette update. I actually got my eyes dilated, and uh, and so it took a while, obviously, for the dilation to go down and stuff, so I look kind of crazy. I'm not kidding you, and it was hard to see for a while. So, yeah, take a look at what I would have looked like if I would have came on yesterday. Check out this picture. See, um, that would have been a little weird staring at my eyes like that with my pupils dilated that much. So I'm here today to talk about what happened on The Bachelorette. There's a lot to unfold. And I got to say, to Claire's credit, even though we kind of already, she's very been very vocal about the fact that she already thinks she met her husband in Dale, um, you know, the first night. She actually, you know, realizes that there's other guys there and that she also needs to get to know him a little bit better before making that decision right then and there, right? So she has a group date that Dale is on and it's basically they have to go through the love languages which you know if you know anything about love languages there's different kinds and the first one was affirmation so all the guys got to come up she was almost like she was staying up in a window and they were looking up at her and, and gave her affirmation what person wouldn't want that like seriously <laughs> I mean I think it would be a little bit too much to hear that stuff but whatever so and of course Dale, Dale you know Dale did hit it out of the park with what he said and then the next one was physical. So she put a, a blindfold on and the guy that came up to her each time had a blindfold on. And when it came to Dale, again, I know I'm talking a lot about Dale. There was definitely some chemistry there and the other guys could really see it. So you wonder, oh boy. Well, the last one was quality time together. And that was basically at the cocktail party. Now, um, it was kind of weird because she came in and sat down and was talking to the guys and stuff. And then there's this weird, awkward silence. Like no one got up to right away say, hey, do you, can you, you know, can I get some time in with you? Like none of them did that. It was, it was kind of weird. So, and she, she said something to them like, does anyone want to talk? And so one of the guys jumped up, yeah, I'll come, come talk to you. And so as they're talking, she's like, okay, I'm really sorry. She interrupts him and basically says, this is really bothering me. Why wouldn't these people, these guys are here for me supposedly. And then yet none of them, none of you got up to like, say, you want to talk to me? Like you're supposed to be here for me. <laughs> which I kind of get. So she went and confronted the guys about it. Basically like, I mean, if you guys don't want to spend time with me, I'm going to go back to my place and go to sleep. Uh, and she, Cause she was really annoyed by that. Um, I saw some people saying, well, maybe it's because like this is their first time they're actually around different people because they've been quarantined for so much and they just, they like each other. But uh, that was a little awkward though. So yes, finally. And then Dale is the one that grabs her and takes her away and apologizes for doing that he never wants to see her hurt and then they go on a makeout session again <laughs> and she basically she tells him like I already have strong feelings for you I feel this connection and he says the same thing to her so we kind of know where this is going so I thought for sure he was going to get the group date rose but actually she had some good conversations with other guys and Riley ended up getting the group date rose which I thought was kind of cool but I guess Dale's pretty confident in himself about this whole thing right so then we get, I'm looking at my notes, Jason gets the one-on-one -on -one date. And uh, it sounds like he was kind of like, not a, like done some shady stuff as far as in the relationships department. Cause, and he's talked about how he's like, hasn't, he's very bad at opening up and that he's been a player. And I, I, I don't, I have a feeling, I don't know for sure. Maybe he's cheated on women before, blah, blah, blah. Cause um, she basically, had him they both wrote letters to their younger selves about what they would do like what they learned now compared to when they were younger which i thought was very therapeutic and so like they got a lot of that stuff out they really connected um and sh she ended up giving him the rose it was actually kind of sweet but again it's hard to take it seriously when you know it's pretty much going to be Dale. So I don't want to get invested in these guys <laughs> right but then again hope i don't know if these guys are going to be sticking around for the next bachelorette that comes up so in that regard i that's kind of why i'm starting to get to know these guys i guess so the next group date is dodgeball okay these guys they're they get broken up into two teams uh, a blue and and red team and the winning team gets to go out to the cocktail party with her where the other team goes home but then claire changes it up a little bit and basically each round that whatever team loses they have to take off an article of clothing and the game ends when the losing team is completely, completely naked. Like, uh, okay, I mean, I get you being a good sport about that, but like, seriously? 
I don't know. <laughs> it didn't need to happen, but the guys were good sports about it, and they and so it happened. The red team, I believe, ended up winning, so they got to go. Uh, but the guys that lost literally went back to their room naked. <laughs> so that was a little weird. Some of the guys that were back at the hotel didn't think that was cool at all. And actually, uh, I believe I'm looking at my page two of notes because I have a lot. <laughs> but Blake, who was on the losing team, was like, well, screw this. I want to see her. This I, I, It's not fair that I get to spend time with her. So he goes and interrupts that cocktail party as she's talking to one of the guys. And he's like, can I have like five minutes with her? At first, the guy's like, weren't you on the losing team? So he gives him his time. Um, but then the guys kind of get together and go over and confront him w with Claire and basically saying, what's, you know, like, dude, it's not fair. We, we won fair and square type of thing. And Claire said, give me a minute. And she did the right thing. She kind of said, look, it's not fair. I need to get, I appreciate that you came, uh, did this, but we need to, I need to get back to the guys. And he tried to give her a kiss and she pushed him away, which I appreciate uh, that she did that because she's like, that's not cool. Like to do that with these guys here, which I thought, again, I liked that she had that mentality and, and that um, strong will to be like, nope, <laughs> sorry. And so he was like, oh, this didn't go very well. Yeah. So <laughs> whoops. And I'm trying to see, um, so she's talking, so so at the cocktail party, she's talking to this guy, Brandon, and he goes, yeah, as soon as I found out it was you, I, I signed up to be the bat, uh, on the show, I never would have signed up for this show, and she's like, really, well, what made you, made you want to, like, what was it about me, and he's like, well, you're obviously beautiful, and then couldn't come up with anything else about her and why he wanted to sign up because it was her it was really awkward and good for Claire she's just like and he's like well you know even though we don't speak I we, we have that chemistry we have that connection you can see it we don't have to say anything to each other and she's like actually I don't feel that way you could it was pretty obvious and so she sent him home I'm like yeah <laughs> oh my god <laughs> it's pretty funny um, but again, it's it's tough for me to uh, to get into it with these connections when I know she has a main connection already that's going to derail everything in the next couple of weeks. So we get to the rose ceremony, and she pulls Brandon aside. That's the guy. I'm sorry, uh, Blake aside. He's the guy they interrupted the cocktail party the other day. She grabs him right away and actually tells him she appreciates what he did and she gives him a rose before the rose ceremony. So all the guys were kind of taken back about that, like, whoa, right? And so then uh, Dale, of course, is talking with her and again, they have this connection and they're, you know, making out again and it pretty much ends there. <laughs> and uh, To be continued, so there was no rose ceremony on this episode, it goes to next week. I think either next week or the week after is when everything just explodes. There's definitely some drama next week, but I think the whole Dale thing will come up in the next two weeks. That's my prediction. Um, but again, it sucks me in, darn you, Bachelorette. <laughs> what are your thoughts on what happened with this show? Like, do you think Dale and her are still together? I haven't heard anything. If you heard anything, let me know and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you again on the next Leslie Lois Unfiltered. Until then, will you accept this rose? <laughs> Bye.